Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Ghost of a Tale. It's a... Uh, action RPG featuring a mouse. I guess. Uh, not like furry mouse, I more mean like red wall stuff. So in the beginning was the green flame. I assume this isn't voice acted. A force without conscience, consuming all in its path. The creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell only to rise again as puppets of the Emerald Fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought. Until at last, the Paraclave, the Green Flame, was extinguished. That was a nice fire animation. Mera. Mera, where are you? So are we a rat, not a mouse? No, we are totally a mouse. Okay, so we get mushrooms. Your health is low. Uh, access inventory and eat. Red rose. Okay, you stood before the Baron, your wife Mara, at your side. He bid you play the poisoned cup, and you knew this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did, but from Mara there was only silence and a look of defiance. He struck her, and you cried out and went to her. And then darkness. How many days have passed since then? In your heart you know she's still alive and that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and a question, why? Aw, oh, it's so cute. Like, my ears flop and everything, and the tail, oh man. Okay, so, I will admit, I grew up with Redwall. Uh, that was like, totally my jam when I was a kid. This looks kind of like if you crossed Redwall with something a little bit darker. Mysterious message. Find me. Cover your tracks. Move unseen. Oh, boy. Hey, Silky. Uh, this might actually be a bit more stealthy. Yeah, there it is. Doesn't look like it can attack. I can jump. I can interact. I don't have a map of my current location. How do I... Oh, yeah. We go. Nope. Continue. This. Here you can find inf information about quests and lore. So, we got tools. Uh, fire steel. Small candlestick. Made of pewter. Candles missing. Well, let's eat... Uh... Eat the apple. Let's get a little bit of health here. Okay, we're back up to full health. And let's try this. I love the animation right now. This is solid stuff. Alright. Oh, we can hide. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's coming through here yet. Cell manifest. Name Tilo. Profession minstrel. Offenses. Acts of sedition. It's locked. You've attracted the guard's attention. Quick, go to the chest and hold right trigger on A to hide. Don't forget you can hide in many different places. I hope at some point I can just fight my way through things. I'm not a big stealth kind of guy, but I guess if it's not so bad, it's okay. Looks really nice though, like super cinematic. But I hope some amount of this game is not stealth based. Just because. Okay. You can run really fast on all fours. Okay, let's get this. We've got a random toad man. Hello, random toad man. Green bug. My green bug. Old pirate frog. Ferret spalls. What do you think you're doing? Mousey barging into my cell uninvited. Do you know who I am? Because I have no idea. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know. Carol Wed Red Whiskers. That's it. Carol the Red Whiskers. At least I was. Navigator of the Lake Witch under the Captain Otto Powder Keg. Read footnote. Captain Otto Powder Keg. A stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse. Captain Otto Powder Keg was the captain of Lake Witch. A galleon for more than a dozen years terrified the merchant ships that ferry good between the five great ports of Lake Velia. It's said that he'd wax his tail and set it alight before going into battle. And it was this that gave him his name. Captain Powder Keg gained notoriety for his crimes and fame from the handsome wanted poster for which he himself had printed up and distributed in order to bolster his renown. The captain was finally captured and his ship wrecked in, against submerged rocks just off the eastern shore of Lake Velia, near Dwindling Heights Keep. The cause of the wreck was never established and will likely remain a mystery, for once the doors of Dwindling Heights closed behind him, the captain was never heard of again. So you've come to rob me, have you, you little scrunt? Scrunt. A word too rude to define. <laughs> of course not. 
Two things I can't stand, the smell of mice and the smell of lies. What will it take to get your stink out of my cell? Please, I need your help. Is that right? And what's in it for me? Uh, perhaps I could try and find the key to your chain, set you free? Free? Why would I want to be free? Being free is what got me put in here in the first place. That and the piracy thing. No, I've got everything I need right here. Damp air, all the flies I can eat, my own stool. But there is something. Down the corridor, the sleeping guard. I need you to strangle him. What? Why? Because he called me a pirate. But aren't you a pirate? Aye, and proud of it. It was the way he called it. Like being a pirate's a crime. But isn't it a crime? Aye, it is, and I'm not ashamed of it. Then why would you want to kill him? Because he called me a pirate. But aren't you a pirate? Uh, it's, isn't that a crime? Oh, I can see why you'd be upset. So you'll do it then. Uh, let's see what I can do. Har har, come on laddie. I'm pulling your leg. I'd never ask you to do something like that. I'll do it myself when the time is right. Why don't you just steal a bottle of his rat gut for me then? I'll see if I can help. Okay, auto save done. Let's grab some mushrooms. So that's him making the noise. We don't have anything else. Don't see the pirates yet. Stick. Oh, you picked up a useful tool. There are many such items in the world. So I can throw it, cycle through, and unequip. Okay, I, s I don't seem to see the, uh... I don't see the, uh, the guy anywhere. Doesn't look like I can interact with this. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to murder. I don't see the guard. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. At all. It's always a little bit worried. I wonder if there's a quick save button that I can pull from. Well, there's just a save game button. Oh, you need to enter a hiding spot before saving. Oh, that's nice. Well, I don't see or hear him bumping around. Uh, let's just keep grabbing bugs and stuff. It's another hiding spot. I love my hat. Love all of this, actually. I hate hiding games or stealth games. They're not my thing. Need a key for that. But, like, realistically, this is solid. I don't know if it's good or not. I'm already sneaking. Okay. Looks like he's asleep. Okay, enemies. Awareness grows as you move. Stay still to make it decrease. Okay. Makes sense. The faster I move, the more it goes up. Bottle, bottle, bottle. He's got a key on him. Screaming door key. Okay, I'm just gonna go around the sleep sleeping rat. So if we go painfully slowly, it goes up painfully slowly. So it's probably the best way to do things. You know, this is a little bit more stealth. I'm down for. Okay, bottle of rot gut. Rot gut. We're good. Up eventually, I can just fight things. I'm not a big stealth kind of guy, and it'd be kind of nice if I can just clobber not my way through things. Okay, I think we're out of range. I'm still going to go quiet. Just because. Without a key, it's hopeless. Just going to look around. That's something. I'm going to keep just grabbing every bug that I come across. I don't know if there's a carrying limit in this kind of game. Hey, there's a candle. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if there's a carrying limit, but figured... Why not? Oh, so that goes down. Okay, so that's something for later. But not right now. I'm pretty impressed. Like, the stealth system works pretty well. You don't have to worry about it too much. You can run fast. Okay, if only I had the key. You can run fast by, by holding left trigger. The, the controls seem nice. It doesn't seem like it's a very platformy heavy game. I'm sure it will have some amount, but you never know. Okay, well, let's get this guy the his rot gut. Seeing as. Uh, pusillanimous. What does it mean, this word? It means lack of courage, I think. Ah, in that case. 
What are you doing in my cell, you pusillanimous little merkin? Uh, here's the bottle you wanted, and it's his last one. Good, now pop the bottle's neck twixt my lips. With a deft flick of his head, the frog sends the bottle spinning across its cell, where it shatters into pieces against the wall. Every time that scrunt gets soused, I have to put up with his damn snoring. Well, no more. Okay, I've done as you asked. Now will you help me? I give you my word as a pirate, but I suppose I can make an exception. What is it you want? I'm looking for someone. Mara, my wife. Is she a mouse? Wearing a hood, yes. Har! Then who can say? It's not easy to tell you mice apart with your ears and your tails and your silly hats. They're not silly. Psh. So, uh... Let's see, how long have you been here? Let's see, ten days since they brought you in, dead to the world you were. Do you speak mouse? Only the curse words. What dungeon is this? In the Dwindling Heights Keep, on the shore of Lake Vivalia. Okay, Dwindling Heights Keep. For centuries, the keep at Dwindlin Heights has defended the southern shore of Lake Vivalia. Though once a fine building, the keep has long since fallen into disrepair. Its greatest enemy no longer marauding ferrets, but instead the acidic waters of the lake, which are slowly eroding the cliff face on which the keep stands. It's for this reason that among the locals, the fortress has been known as Dwindling Heights. You best get used to it. Tell me, was it you that helped me escape myself? What do these chains tell you, Mousy? Does it look like I could help you escape? I suppose not. Aye, and I wouldn't if I could. I should go farewell. Don't let the door snap on your tail. Well, you're about as useless as can be. So I don't think I can fight that guy. Is this the... Oh, is this the screaming cell? No, it's not. Okay, so I don't know what that is yet. So let's go a little bit further. Switch to sneak mode. I don't think he's going to find me immediately. I didn't see any more keys. So I'm just going to go around the corner. There might be something over on the right. But we had this, like, mysterious door down here. And I'm determined to find out what it is. It's locked. Well, ain't that just peachy. Okay. I guess there's nothing for it, then. Let's sneak past the guard. Uh, unless that happens. That was really weird. The character couldn't figure out where to go or what to do. I'm not used to that sort of thing, but then again... This is an early access product, so I'll, I'll, I guess, throw up that forewarning for all of you. Um, this is incomplete. I don't know how incomplete it is. I don't know if it's mechanically story-wise or what. But um, the game is not done. The game's 20 bucks currently. And I'm not quite sure if that's a good price point yet. But overall, I'm actually pretty impressed, so... Okay, there's the screaming door. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. It seems like a quality product. The ambiance is great. The art looks amazing. There's no music, and I kind of wish there was, but I guess you kind of have to not have music for this sort of thing. It, stealth games can't be very, very heavy with the orchestral. And honestly, indie game budgets don't exactly support that sort of thing either. Oh. He is... Blind as a bat. Okay. So what's his plan? You know what? For starters, we're going to save. We haven't saved yet. Now let's figure out what this guy's plan is. He That might have just been scripted. No, he goes back. Okay, so chances are what I want to do is wait until he gets... Finishes patrol to that end, hop out, sneak around... Luckily, it doesn't seem like enemies have particularly wide sight radiuses or long ones. Kind of wish I could almost see them, just because. Maybe that's a skill I get. I mean, it seems like we get resistances, health. Like, maybe you level up in this game. Maybe you don't. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I have a figurine of my infant son, infant son Bryn. Uh-oh. Well, that's... That's not good. I'm digging this, though. It's, I mean, honestly, if you guys, if you guys grew up with Redwall like I did, this is going to appeal to you on many, many levels. Just going to try and get around that corner. Okay, we got another hiding spot here. Okay, can't carry any more tools of this type. I want to read the note.
That's so cute. I would really like to read that thing, though. Okay, can I do anything with tools? The inventory. Let's go back. I don't think I can drop one of them. Okay, this guy needs to continue on. Oh, I'm even holding the bottle. That's great. Yeah, so most of these are going to be distractions. Okay. So we got another rat sleeping there. Cell manifest. I don't care about the bottle. I don't care about the stool. Okay, find a vacant spot. Okay, you know what? For starters, we're gonna save. It's interesting, being in your inventory doesn't actually seem to, um... Being in your inventory doesn't actually stop the flow of time, which actually kind of makes sense. But still. Okay, so there's a rat sleeping in there for some mysterious reason. I wonder if letting him out will actually do anything. I do so hope I can actually assassinate people at some point, and this game doesn't have a good and bad ending based on kills. Because I always hate that in games. Like, I, I, I really enjoy systematically eliminating my opponents. It, uh, in every possible way. Need a key for that. Okay, that's nothing. Oh, maybe it is. A key, it's hopeless. Okay, so we got this guy going around. I'm gonna hop in a barrel. We'll take the stick and then we're gonna hide the barrel. So I don't know if he's gonna notice me. No, actually, it looks like this, despite the fact that the door is mysteriously open now, he has no idea. Well, I'm not gonna risk it. Or I could risk it. We could just save again and go from there. Okay. See, I don't know if he's going to be able to see in here. Probably not, especially if we keep to the lower sections. Alright, let's loot stuff. What's inside the chest? A pirate's baldric and a hornet's nest. Okay, pirate. A stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse. Captain Otto Powder Keg was the captain of the Galleon Lake Witch and is perhaps the most renowned pirate ever to sail Lake Valia. Uh, let's see. In his wanted posters, Captain Powder Keg is always wo seen wearing... Pirate Captain's hat, eye patch, baldric with buckle and ruff, silk sash, gray buccaneer's boots. Oh, it's like a distraction. There's also a hornet's nest. Oh, that actually hurt. Don't touch the pirate's nest. Huh. Those bugs are actually pretty good healing items. Well, looks like they've given up the ghost and are leaving me alone. So let's grab our grain. Because that's not a problem. Cupboard, what's it got? If only I had the key. Oh, damn. Okay, nothing useful in this barrel, nothing useful in this barrel. This one's not openable. And I see the shadow of the rat around the corner, so we're going to have to keep looting this room, but I'm going to wait for him to go by before you go anywhere. I'm... I'm... Still kind of frustrated with this sort of thing. I prefer I prefer games that don't require me to sneak around. Or, you know, ones that just give me the opportunity to fight my way through everything if I wanted to. Let's see, what do we got? Fate card. More fate card. Okay, we already got enough bottles. Nothing from any of these. There's a bed I can sleep in. It's covered, and there's nothing interesting in there. Where the devil am I supposed to be going? Okay, well, at least it alerted me that they were aware of my presence. So I get the feeling this is just kind of like a random loot side chamber. Because I can't get into the... I can't get into that. Unless we have to steal the... Oh, geez, if I had to steal the key from that guard as he goes by? I didn't see a key. But I also don't see one here either. Let's try this. It's locked. 
Oh. Okay, well, we found the key. Oh. I see how it works. So, I can't get to the key because I'm short as hell. However, there's a stool around the corner that I can get to. Can I save from the sighting spot? I can. I know saving compulsively is probably, like, kind of boring, but it takes barely any time, and it gives me a lot of sense of safety or security or something. Mainly, I don't have to think about it, which is encouraging. Okay, so we're going to wait for him to leave. Okay, we're going to grab the stool. We're going to awkwardly totter over here. Okay, put the stool down. Climb the stool. Grab the begging door. And scamper away. Didn't seem like there was another key for that other cupboard. A little bit worried about these things. Let's grab as many sticks as we can carry. Just because I don't see a reason why not to. Thief boots. Okay, thief. Too long is considered by many, including his peers and his own self, to be the greatest thief alive. Capricious and whimsical, too long is once a hero and a villain to those he steals from. Is at once a hero and a villain from those he steals from. Tales of his daring and guile are near legendary, and with each telling, his renown has only grown. So we can get too long set, too. Incident log. Private Hearth, given two days in jail for not wearing his full armor in the courtyard. Private Engar. Eingar, struck in brain by falling drawbridge after winch break failed. Mechanism still unstable. Private Gaff, left addled by a falling barrel. Private Jewel, wagered two forlorns, or florins, he could jump the pit. Funeral to be held tomorrow. Private Scree, taken by spiders in the lower levels. Ooh. Uh, Private Barfin, drunk on duty, assigned to the screaming gate for one week. Warning. The drawbridge mechanism is very sensitive. Waiting repair by the blacksmith. Handle with care. Okay. So there's a ladder. And a couple of bottles that I probably have no use for. I guess let's go down. Oh, geez, this is no small distance. I don't think I want to jump off either. Alright, this is cool. I don't know, I'm, I'm having a good time here. It's... <laughs> Coming down here was a waste of time, apart from maybe hiding. It might be a shortcut for later, but it doesn't look like I can do anything with this right now. Uh, but, I mean, it's simple. It's a basic stealth game, but it really, really does make me think of Redwall in a very, very good way. Uh... I get it. I'm going to wait for this guy to go away. Oh, I know where the ladder's here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check this while we're here. We want to do options, controls. Let's see, so throw is Y. Alright. Is he coming to investigate? No, he's not. Okay, well, that's fine. Thank you, sticks. Let's grab some oil. Oh, I see. I don't have anything to put the oil in, unless... What about the bottles? Maybe if... Oops. But if I have a oil bottle? Nope. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it right now. Maybe a stick? Maybe not. Let's see what we got in here. Pirate's belt, lantern. Okay. Since we got that, don't think I can bring that back. Lantern is already filled up. Okay, so how do we do lantern? This. And I can put it away. Cool. I assume we don't have to worry about it emptying anytime soon. I don't see any... Uh-oh. That's a guard right there. 
Looks like he's not moving. And as long as I sneak properly, he shouldn't see me. However, let's not go down to confront him until we have something a little bit more stabby. At least I think. Okay, good. Looks like we've got this handled, though. Still a bit spoopy. I thought I'd be able to get out of this keep in the first episode, but it looks like we're going to be here for a while. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh. Nothing in there. Nothing anything. Push. Did the other one notice? Need a key for that. Ah! I think I got it. He's going to be coming through. Or he's right there. Okay. Don't think... So he was alerted... Oh. Did, did he wake his companion up? Did I fail that? I might have. How far back is this going to throw me? I have no idea. Unless... What if we do... Bottle. Quip. Chuck. He is confused. Okay, they're distracted. I got him. Alright, can I murder him the rest of the way? Nope! But I can't hit him with that! Alright, see you later! Okay. Oh, I've got an endurance meter of some variety. Oh, door lever, door lever. Door lever, door lever. Door lever, door lever, I'm outside. This is a bad thing, though. Because I'm, I'm being... I'm being chaseled. And it's not a good thing. Well, whatever, it's just one guard. And it looks like they don't communicate well. So if I can escape his... Nope. If I, if I can escape his notice, we're all good. Or something, I don't know. I think we've lost him. We have not. Okay, there's a cannon here. There's a door. Door's now open. There's another guard there. The reason I want to come back here is... Lost him. Okay. So, uh, it turns out running is actually a really good thing. That was spookly, and I want to get around, but I think right now... Like, I want to get around and I want to explore this area, but I think right now my main goal is getting out. However, it actually took a while. That cicada is really annoying. Uh, let's do basic impressions here. I like this game. It's spooky. I don't like stealth games. I'm glad I can brain people with bottles and throwing weapons. I'm glad I grabbed all of them. Um, there's a bunch of healing items. It looks like there's kind of crafting. There's kind of an interesting equipment system, which I kind of want to see how it works. Because we currently got this stuff on. Oh. So by putting these things on, we actually get increased stamina regen... And weapon resistances. I probably look goofy as shit, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just having a good time. It's pretty freaking solid. I'll probably read these at some point. Book of characters and costumes, songs, Mara's book, mysterious message, and these random things. I should figure out what these do. Inspect. Use? I don't know. Whatever, that's something for a later time. But yeah, the game's 20 bucks, I think. And I think that's a good price if you guys like stealth games, or if you like Redwall and stuff, because I, I, I'm getting a serious Redwall vibe, and I'm looking forward to playing more. Redwall or Mouse Guard. And, I mean, overall, yeah, it's kind of either generic Unity or Unreal. Can't really tell yet. Probably Unreal. Uh, but I think it works well. Wish the game was a little bit more colorful, but maybe that's just me. God, that bug is going to drive me insane. Okay, there we go. Let's just, let's just stop here and call that close enough. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a solid product, and, uh, I can't wait to play more. Uh, but this is a great stopping point. So I guess I will see you guys on the next episode. But first, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because 
I don't entirely know if this game's, like, complete, like, story-wise, or, like, what's even missing from it, because I know it's early access. But I'm going to aim for, I hope, a full playthrough. I don't know. Stealth games are bad with me, because I always get frustrated and stuck, or stuck and frustrated, or or just frustrated and not stuck. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll play as much as I can. And I guess with that, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.